Hey boys, welcome to the Manly 2019 career mode and it is a big day. The grand final, the Broncos have snuck in. They have been the Cowboys 10 points to 8. So a huge game, huge game. My team, the Broncos, up against my team, the Seagulls. And we got a we got a full strength uh, full strength lineup basically. Uh, Finu's back from his suspension. Uh, Tom Trebojevic is obviously the huge omission still, but he's he's been out for a huge portion of the season. So you know we've we've done it without him, and we can uh, we can do it again. Hopefully it's a it's a nice fast track, and it looks uh, looks nice nice conditions. A little bit of rain. It it does look like a draining, which is a bit annoying again but um yeah gonna be gonna be taking on the broncos here who you know unfortunately couldn't uh couldn't progress in real life <laughs> lucky to make the finals but uh they're here they're here on the big day and uh it's gonna be good so yeah obviously this is the first season in the career i always do i always do two two seasons um yeah, I, I usually think two seasons is good. Obviously, you could do more, but you know, trying to trying to do more teams, uh, less seasons is sort of the way, and it gives me a good chance to sort of not completely change up the team, but you know, get a few guys in that I would like, um, get rid of a few guys that I, I don't want at the club, and even if we win, we will be playing it the next season as well, try to go back to back, but here we go, kickoff underway, big Marty DeVau takes the first hit up, and Matt Lodge gets uh, gets rattled there, so good start, good start, but then Darius Boyd, turning back the clock, is going to make a line break up the middle of the field, got to watch out, because unfortunately on the game here, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't really equal real life, where Darius... Uh, doesn't really have much of uh, much of anything in attack. On the game, he is he's actually very good. <laughs> he's just sort of how it works, you know. The older they get, or the more experience they get, the the better they still get on the game. Age doesn't really impact players on the on video games, which it makes sense because it would be hard to um be hard to code in. Is right here to power again. Huge start of the game. Probably a little bit of a silly offload, although. Coruscant was definitely taken without the ball. He, he was held back, so a little bit of a, a little bit of a uh, rough call, but still a bit of a silly offload at the same time. As the kick goes up here, George Tafua takes another offload. I mean, we're we're chance in our arm, you know. That we've played we played the career attacking with with good attacking footy really it's been built on on strong defense but at the end of the day we have scored some nice tries we do like to throw it around as Moses Suli straight up the guts there I saw the fullback Boyd had made the previous tackle so trying to trying to attack that area again a huge gap there Cade Cusk goes straight through with the dummy just attacking that that uh, one off the ruck there sort of the um the old arrow style I know playing uh Playing a bit of touch footy back in the day, that was the that was always the play and go bang straight up the straight up the middle with the arrow system. It was always touch footy was always good fun, but um, yeah, we're uh, we're playing well here. Beautiful kick here from Cust, who was <laughs> Jack Grzeski chasing through. I don't know, I don't know if he was on side. Um, I couldn't really see, but he got there pretty quickly. It was a good kick from Cust. Usually the uh, the grubbers don't go that deep into the uh, or that far, I guess. But uh, on the back of it, it's gonna be Dylan Walker. Yeah, Dylan Walker has been uh, exceptional for us in this career mode. He's had to he's had to shift around a few times. He uh, I think he, I think we started him in the centres, and then I think I moved him to five eight with a couple of injuries, and now obviously he's. Uh, He's filled. He's filled in at fullback for us. He's done a. He's done a tremendous job with the absence of uh, Trebojevic as a Marty Depao. He's back on and he's he's creating some havoc there. Beautiful little kick. Oh, the buzzer! We could have scored just an absolute miracle on the on the siren there. But uh, what a first half of footy. Probably a little unlucky not to not to be further in front, but. Got to be happy with it. Again, our completions are well up there. Our uh, possession is, is good. As right here again, Garrick almost getting there. Darius Boyd covers across and, and makes a try saver. I don't, dude. I don't know how we haven't scored 
couple more tries here as Cherry Evans puts in a little kick. It's not a bad kick, but Corey Oates swoops on that one, scoops it up, and uh, thwarts the danger there. As uh, we're on the attack again, the Broncos have made another mistake. We're throwing it around here. Just, you know, score another try here. Game is not over, but... It's, it, it almost is, honestly, is Ruben Gary grabs across field. The, the hole was there. I drew in the Broncos' defense. We are going to get a six to go. But uh, again, oh, I was right here. I don't know what happened there. That was that was poor stuff. I was trying to switch the play, but just just got muddled up. And then right, oh my goodness. I get on. Marty DePaul was right there on my shoulder. Finally made the break, but... To power just sort of overran it slightly, and I, I wanted to pass to him, but on the back of it, now Darius Boyd, who's had a, who's he's had a big game. He's come up with a few try savers, and now he's going to come up with the potential equalizer, which is very disheartening. We have been the far better team for 60 minutes here. It hasn't shown in on the scoreboard. And just a couple of things that I, I still can't get over that. The final break to Powell was right there, but he just he just overran it slightly. I couldn't give it off to him, and then it got intercepted to add soul to the wounds, and then Boyd scores. So six apiece here. Under ten minutes to go. All of a sudden the game has gone quickly. It's been a for only two tries scored and a in a rainy a rainy night. It's been a it's been a fast paced, fast paced game. Uh, we've, we've honestly looked very good in attack. I'm not, I'm not gonna, uh, I'm not gonna downplay it. I think we've been excellent in attack. Just haven't been able to finish off some of our, some of our opportunities as fit tackle here. We got to, I think it's Cade Cuss back in the pocket. Gonna look for a one pointer. It's an absolute shocker off the boot. Um, Jermaine Asako scoops it up. Gotta be a little careful not to, uh, not to give away a length of the field effort, but it looks like it's going to go into uh, extra time as Ruben Garrick tries a little something right on the stroke of full time, and uh, yeah, that's uh, that's all she uh, that's all she wrote for the for the first 80 minutes. I can't I can't believe it got to this point. We we've been the better team. I what can you say? Just yeah, just just not finishing off uh, just not finishing off the chances. The Broncos had that that one chance. Boyd just stepped around one player and scored. Disappointing. Um, but that's how footy goes as uh, Savalio makes a break here. The Broncos in with an absolute golden chance here. It's going to go back to Nicarima. And I give away a high tackle. So I, I forgot all about this dude. I thought this was the game. That's why I was racing up out of the line because I was trying to stop a field goal. I thought it was it was game over. I, I actually forgot that they changed the rule. <laughs> I forgot that they changed the golden rule in uh, in grand finals. That now it's um, you play the extra ten minutes of extra time, and then if it's still a draw, you go to golden point. I completely forgot about that, <laughs> and I thought it was game set and match. So we we uh, we get a reprieve. They got the two points, which. It's, no, it's not the worst thing. We can't. We obviously can't go for a field goal now, but uh, we're gonna have to score. We're gonna have to score in the next uh, in the next six minutes. We do have a chance just before the break. We'll still have a couple of plays left, uh, thankfully. Nice ball there to Parker. It's gonna be a fifth tackle here. Hopefully we can uh, get something going. Probably a little little grubber, a little chip and chase potentially. Finu is gonna put the grubber in, but he's being tackled. Right there, so breaks down. So it looks like it's gonna go into the second stanza here. We've got a, uh, we got the, we got the running here. Finally, we get our dummy half. He's been exceptional for us, coming off the bench. He's been a huge welcome return. Just almost, he was so close to scoring. Cade Cuss gets it onto Walker. Walker, oh, <laughs> again so close. Surely this mountain of pressure. Still, still a couple of minutes left. In, uh, in extra time here, Finu puts in the kick, gets the offload away, but Tapao is going to get taken. Oh, that could be almost it, and it looks like it is going to be. I, I cannot believe it, dude. If we can cause a, uh, a knock-on, potentially Tapao's racing up, trying to put a shot on. They get an offload as well, but that it's going to be all she wrote. The Broncos are going to get away with this victory. They're going to win the grand final, the 2019 grand final. 
Huge shot there, Siren, and trying to force the ball loose. Not going to happen. Oh, I don't know how we lost it. Just, you know, at the very end there, we had we had some good opportunities. Probably the, the pressure and the, the time ticking away got the best of us. We could have probably... We probably could have done a little bit more, been a little bit more patient with the with the footy, and uh, yeah, just that's a heartbreaker. That's a heartbreaker. But you know, we're gonna come back next year. We do have a couple of recruits. I didn't go through that, but next year, the start of next season, we'll uh, I'll go through the recruiting that I, I have done. The Broncos there holding up the trophy. A bittersweet moment. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this season. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.